we can now confidently say that Beyblade Burst is finally over. You may remember over a year ago, I made a video just like this saying goodbye to Beyblade Burst because Dynamite Battle was over. So everybody thought that Beyblade Burst was over. It wasn't. Just a few months later, we got the surprise announcement of Beyblade Burst Quad Strike, which was a Hasbro slash Western only anime release. It was a surprise to everybody and it adapted the Burst Ultimate releases, which didn't have an anime. But the last five episodes of Quad Strike dropped on Hulu just a few days ago and it's over now. I will eat a shoe if they make another season of Beyblade Burst. A lot of you guys may love Quad Strike and love Hasbro Beyblades, but for me, I'm a Takara Tomy fanboy, so I kind of skipped this entire season. I did pick up a few of the Quad Strike Bays like Xiphoid Excalius and Bolt Bryzen, but for the most part, I didn't really care about them that much. I also did watch a couple episodes of Quad Strike, but it didn't really appeal to me. I thought it was okay, the whole elemental powers thing. I thought Pre was cool. I thought Pax was all right, but eh. I'm kind of in that boat of fans that wish Beyblade Burst ended a few years ago, and maybe we'd be on like season two of Beyblade X. And if you didn't know, Beyblade X is the new series of Beyblade. Uh, some of the releases came out in July, and the anime is dropping in Japan later this year. And if you want to get some of the Beyblade X releases, I recommend Mall of Toys. They have a bunch of the Beyblade X stuff up for sale, like the stadium set, uh, Dran Sword, Hell Scythe, and Night Lance, which is the newest release, came out today. So go and check it out. Links in the description down below and use code Illinook to get 5% off. In my goodbye Beyblade Burst video I made last year, I did a ranking for all of my favorite Beyblade Burst seasons in order. And for Quad Strike, even though I haven't seen most of it, I'd probably put it at the same ranking as Dynamite Battle because it was kind of the same. Nothing new, still some cool battles, kind of some rough animation sometimes. Vault looked a little funky, and it did have some cool ideas like the elemental powers thing. I mean, and also, even though it was a Hasbro set, the light up stadium was kind of cool. I'm not gonna buy it. I've never bought it, but it's interesting. Something I do want to talk about that happened at the very end of the last Quad Strike episode was its kind of farewell message. It was kind of like a goodbye. While you didn't see the battle or the results of the battle, you had Vault versus Bell. So the old and the best main character versus the latest one. And because the battle was on international television, you had a bunch of Beyblade legends from season past watching. Just legendary bladers like Free, Louie, Kit, Silas. The whole crew of Beyblade Burst GT, including Drum or Dante, uh, Delta, and Amane. The main characters of Beyblade Burst Surge, Hyuga and Hikaru. You're able to see Shu, which is pretty much everybody's favorite character for the final time. And you also see some of the villains we haven't seen in forever, like Lane, Fi, and his brother Hearts. It was definitely a pretty sappy ending and being able to see all these infamous characters that we've come to know and love throughout the years was a cool send off. I will say I do wish we would have gotten a Vault versus Shu for the final matchup. We did see them battle earlier in the season, but it just wasn't really that great. But while they're important, Vault and Shu haven't been the main characters in years, and we have to get Bell in there. So Vault versus Bell is okay. In summary, while I do wish that Beyblade Burst would have ended a few years ago, and I do feel like they kind of dragged it out for a little while, I am kind of sad that it's finally over. It's the same feeling that I had last year, but now that Beyblade X is currently releasing, and the anime is coming out this winter, it definitely feels fully over. I'm definitely going to miss it. So I have a couple of questions for you guys. In the comments down below, I want you to tell me what your favorite season of Beyblade Burst was, who your favorite character was, whether you liked Quad Strike or not, and also if you're excited for Beyblade X. But hit that like button, hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation, and while Beyblade Burst is over, it'll live on forever in our hearts, and in our blader spirits.